Hello. Hello, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine. Fine. Excellent. Welcome to the last class. Thanks. Excellent. And we have Maximiliano and Marvin. Marvin, are you there? Yes, I am. Excellent. Welcome to the class, Marvin, too. Thank you. Excellent. So we are missing your classmates. I don't know where they are. <laughs> I'm like, today is the last class. I'm going to send them a message. Remember that today is for last class. Maybe they can connect. Okay, Tito saw the message already. Roberto too. I see in this group some students that I, I never saw in this class. <laughs> yeah, I never saw them. Yeah, so I'm waiting for them because I sent them a message already because Carlos usually is here, right? Carlos, Roberto, um, Kevin, right? Kevin, Kevin too. But I don't see them today. Okay, there's Roberto. Excellent. Good. The more the merrier they say in English. The more the merrier. Okay, you guys, well, either way, if they come or they, or they don't, we have to go with the class and I'm gonna go with today's class as well, okay? So um, just to remind, today we have the very last class. Uh, we have been practicing the present perfect, right? And we're gonna continue with that today. I know that you already finished the platform, right? You finished? Maximiliano, yes. Roberto, did you finish the platform? Yes. Excellent, good job. Marvin, what about you? También, teacher, yeah. Okay, perfect, that's it. Good job. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna review that, the very last parts of the, of the platform. Then we're gonna review like a whole thing that we have practiced here in this class in, this, in these days. We're gonna go here. Okay, so we have um ever, and this is like a review. Also, we have the review of the final exam because after we finish section five, we have the final exam, right? So we're gonna review that as well. Okay, so here we have it says instructions: complete these conversations, use the present perfect and simple pass of the verb given. So this is the verb given as well. What is the simple pass? I mean, what is the pass? Uh, wait, i sorry. This is the simple pass, this. What? No, it's not the simple pass. It's the past participle, right? The past participle. So what is the past participle of sing? Sang. Sang, good job. So uh, have you, have you sang? Right. Yes, I. What is the auxiliary for I? Have. And sang, right? Have sang. Then what is the past participle of lose? Remember? Lost. Correct. Okay, let's continue. No, I haven't, negative. No, I haven't, no, I haven't. Okay, but my brother, okay. Get, what is the past participle of get? Got it. Got it, good job. 
and yes, I have gotten. Yes, I have. I have gotten a ticket and had only paid fifty dollars. What is the past participle of C? Sin. Good job, Sin. Is have you ever seen a live concert? Yes, I have. I saw because estamos hablando del pasado, verdad? I saw you two at the stadium last year. Have you ever, o sea, what is the past participle of be? Been. Been. Have you ever been? No, I haven't, obviously. But my sister, but my sister was 30 minutes late. Okay, but my sister was. Okay, let's send it. Let's see. <gasps> we got guy what incorrect. What is the incorrect one? Yeah, I have. I got, okay, sorry. That is the correct one, right? No. Oh, yeah, 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 but we got it one more incorrect. Have you ever sung is the correct one, oh. right? Yeah, correct. So I'm gonna ask you to help me reading the sentences with the complete, uh, with the verb. So Maximiliano, can you help me with number one? Have you ever sung in a karaoke bar? Good job. Choose the next participant, please. Roberto. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I sang one my birthday. Okay. Roberto, choose the next participant, please. Rocio. Rocio, number three, and welcome to the class. Hello. Uh, have you ever lost some time value, valuable? Something. Something. Choose the next participant, please. Um, quiero ver. Marvin. Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't lost lose, but I my brother uh, lose his camera on a trip. Once. Okay, repeat. Lost. Lost. Camera. Camera. Trip. Trip. Yes. Once. So choose the next participant. You can choose any of your three classmates. Max. Okay, Max. Number five. Yes. Have you ever gotten a traffic ticket? Good job. Choose between your three classmates. Rocio. Okay, Rocio. Yes, I have. Once, once, I got a ticket and had to pay fifth. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Okay, Rocio, you can choose between Marvin and Roberto. Uh, Marvin. Okay. Number seven. Yeah. Um, I have seen you ever. Um, okay, repeat with me. Have you ever? Have you ever? Seen. seen a live seen concert. A live concert. Excellent. So now it's Roberto, right? <laughs> yes, I have. I saw you two at the stadium last year. Excellent. Roberto, choose the next one. Maximiliano. Have you ever been late for an important appointment? Excellent. Choose the next. Uh, Marvin. Marvin? No, I haven't. But I, my sister was. 30 minutes late for her wedding. Okay, repeat here. Her wedding. Her wedding. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. And now we're going to watch a video about the difference for and scenes. 
yeah, the last class, I don't know if you remember, we saw four scenes in, already, or uh, yet, still. Do you remember all those? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we're going to do a review of this topic right now. Let's see. Let me share the sound and we go. Hello. In this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years. For a week. For a month. For hours. For two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay, let's watch it one more time. Hello, in this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years. For a week. For a month. For hours. For two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning. Since last week. Since yesterday. Since I was a child. Since Wednesday. Since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. So this is not difficult to understand, I believe, right? The difference that you have to understand is that we say four and then we say five years, three days, uh, for a long time, for many days, for example. And we say since plus the, peer, the moment the specific when something happened, right? Since 2006, since 2020. Okay, so for example, I can say the same, I can make the same example in different ways, right? Let's, let's do it, I'm gonna show you. For example, I can say, I have been working in this company for uh, three years. But then I can say, I have been working in this company, same sentence, since, so you have, if I have been working in this company for three years, since when I have been working in this company? Since would, 2020. Yeah, 2020. So I have been working in this company since 2020, okay? Then I can make another example. Um, you have 
been in my house for a week. Okay, one week. Or I can say exactly the same sentence, but changing just the four for since. But now I'm not going to say since a week, okay? In this case, I'm going to say since last, last week. Since last week, okay? So the same thing, the same sentence. And you see, it has the same meaning, but in one, I'm going to say, I'm going to say the period of time and in the other one, I'm going to say the specific moment when that action started. Let's see another one. He has, uh, he has lived in the neighborhood. Así se escribe, ¿verdad? Neighborhood. Sometimes, I'm, <laughs> sometimes I have mistake with some words. Let me check. Neighborhood. Neighborhood. What it says. Neighborhood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yes, excellent. I know English. Qué bueno que sea inglés. Si no, me preocupaba. I have lived in the neighborhood. Oh, you mean he has lived in the neighborhood for 10 months. Let's count. 10 months. For example, if I say 10 months, right now is November. So when this person started living in the neighborhood? February. Exactly. And now we're going to use for or since? Since. Since February. Remember that the months, they always start with capital letter. Okay, now this is an example that can be difficult for some people. She, she has, uh, she has worked in the, let's say, let's say in the mall. She has worked in the mall for a long time. So how would you change this sentence and make it with since? That is the interesting question here. Okay, so she has worked in the mall since, how would you say this? Mm -hmm. Since long time ago. Okay, yeah, it can be since a long time ago, but also you can say since forever. Desde siempre, right? Desde quien sabe cuando, <laughs> since forever. You can use that word with that, okay? Just that for you to keep in mind. Do you have questions about this topic we are doing right now? No, we no do. Questions? Okay. Thank you. Okay, so what I want you to do right now <clears throat> is the next activity. We're gonna make, uh, sorry. We're gonna make a conversation using the press, uh, sorry, present perfect and the simple pass. Okay. And adding words like or and since. Do you get the activity? Yeah. For example, you can talk about work. You can talk about anything. You're gonna make the conversation with your classmates. So let me see. <clears throat> I'm gonna make the breaker room. Ten, 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 ten. Ten, 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 ten. Okay. There we go. Let's go.
Tito, the same problem again? Hello, Tito. Robert, ¿qué le parece si le hacemos como eh, I'm so a movie science? Como vi una película science desde, podría ser desde tal hora hasta tal hora. Y así sucesivamente. Usted me corresponde y yo le hago la otra respuesta. Bien, intentemos, tomo. O oh, bueno, no sé cómo era la, la que iba a hacer usted. Porque después la vamos a unir una sola, vamos a hacer una sola conversación. Sí, pero yo. Ajá, no lo tengo... que tienen que hacer es compartir la pantalla y van haciendo una conversación así como eh, un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Pueden ir haciendo la conversación. Vale, voy a dar el ejemplo aquí, cómo lo van a hacer. Va, alguien comparte pantalla, así como voy a compartir yo en este momento. Vienen y dicen, vaya, vamos a hablar de desde hace cuánto vives en tu, en tu ciudad. Entonces le pregunto yo. Eh, hello, Roberto. How are you, verdad? Y ahí normal, verdad? How are you? Uh -huh. Ajá, ¿y qué me va a contestar usted, compañero? Compañero, yo le voy a contestar. Hello, Rocío. Long time no see. Por ejemplo, hace tiempo no te veo. Long time no see. Uh -huh. eh, viene Rocío y le dice. Hello, I mean, <laughs> hello again. No. Este. Yes, it is because I moved, ya hice, ahí con moved ya utilicé pasado simple, because I moved to another city. Ah, ok, se mudó a otra ciudad. Viene Roberto y le contesta y le dice, ok, where do you live now? Y yo, viene Rosy y le puede contestar, I have lived, oh my, I mean, o oh I live, puede ser, I live in Sonsonate, eh, por ejemplo, right? Viene y le contesta, 
how long, o sea, cuánto tiempo, how long have you lived there? En el rocío le contesta, I have lived there eh, for, ahí podemos utilizar el for, I have lived there for six months. Ok, y ahí pueden continuar la, la, la conversación. ¿Me entienden cómo es la conversación que van a hacer? ¿Ya? Sí, sí, ya la vi más fácil. <ríe> sí. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Yo, este, pero pueden compartir pantalla para que lo vayan haciendo y después puedan ir a leerla, la sala principal. Ok. Ok, thank you, Miss. Mm. It's difficult. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Cómo vamos aquí? Ah, this is difficult, teacher. ¿Por qué? Ah, uh, because we don't talk about this <laughs> usually. No, por ejemplo, puede ser como, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm good. Long time no see, hace tiempo no te veo. Okay, like, uh, it's because I moved to another city, me moví a otra ciudad. Okay, where do you live now? I live in Quesaltepeque. How long have you lived there? ¿Cuánto tiempo has vivido ahí? Oh, I have lived there for five months. Oh, okay, and do you like the city? Okay, me entienden. Did you buy a house? Yes, I bought a house. You have children. Do you have children now? No, I don't have children yet. Yeah, you get the idea? Yes. Okay. Okay. Excellent. And you can share your screen like writing or typing. I don't know if you're writing in the in the chat. I'm not in the I'm not in the in the computer. So I'm doing the 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 conversation in the computer and later I'm gonna share the, the screenshot. Okay. And and Marvin is working with you? Well, he's a little silent right now. Marvin. Hi teacher. Hi. Yeah, there he is. Ahí está. <laughs> Teacher, disculpe, eh, se me congeló la computadora. Ahí va, disculpe. It's okay, it's okay. Eh, ¿Pero ya todo bien? No le escucho, pero... ¿Está, to ¿Está todo bien ahora? Sí, ahorita sí, gracias. Ok, bien, excelente. Entonces, lo voy a, eh, lo voy a mandar a una sala, a ver si se puede desconectar. Esperamos que sí, oiga. Bueno, gracias. Bueno. Carlos, are you busy? Yes, teacher. I have an, an emergency and I have a problem with my family. Okay, se va a conectar como oyente nada más entonces? Yes, teacher. I have a very mistake. Okay, okay. It's okay.
Tito, you're having problems, right? Yes, teacher, uh, have problems. ¿Y por qué será? ¿Es de computer or the internet? Fíjese que creo que es de internet porque ya me pasé de la computadora al celular y siempre se me congela. Yo intentar una vez más porque ahorita estoy en el celular, ya no estoy en la computadora. Vaya, intentemos. Okay. Bueno, teacher, gracias. <clears throat> Excellent, you guys. Okay, so practice the conversations you have because we're going to come here to role play the conversation, okay?
Okay, excellent. I'm sorry, this is not the thing we're doing. <laughs> this is the next activity. <laughs> Welcome, Kevin. I didn't see you before. Hi, how are you? Hi. Excellent. Welcome to the class, to the last class. Okay, so we're going to have two groups uh, with the conversations they did. And we have Marvin, Maximiliano, Tito in the group number one. Then we have Kevin, Roberto, and Rocio in the group number two. Okay, so we're going to start with the group number two. So I want to hear Kevin, Roberto, and Rocio with their conversation, okay? ¿Quién es Araujo? I'm sorry, ¿Quién es Araujo? Que mandó el mensaje al grupo. I don't know who's Araujo. Okay, yeah. What happened? Sí, ahorita, ahorita. Estábamos haciendo la segunda, pero ya se nos acabó el tiempo. Oh. Uy, no sé qué es. Bueno. Ok. Hello, Robert. How are you? Hi, Jasmine. I have been fine. Good. What have you done yesterday? I saw a great movie for night. What movie did you see? I see did not. Have you seen the new movie Farts and Fears? No, I haven't. The true, I don't I don't like movies about of the uh, ya la segunda iba a ser con Kevin y vamos a hablar de <ríe> ya no la terminamos <ríe> it's okay espérame no la quito no la quito quiero darle unas corrections ahí ok let me see aquí hubiera sido eh, en pasada en, en presente verdad I am fine solo poniendo I am fine I am fine Good. What have you done yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Porque estamos hablando de un presente y un pasado, ¿verdad? Simple. What did you do yesterday? Entonces pondríamos aquí. What did you do yesterday? I saw a great movie at night. Y sería at night. Okay. At night. At night, what movie did you see? Okay, excellent. Ahí estamos bien. So, lo único que nos hizo falta ahí sería el question mark. ¿verdad? So, I saw, como me está diciendo en pasado, tiene que ser I saw. Yo vi, right? Porque aquí dice yo, yo veo y ya no es el preso. Oh, no, sí, 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 sí. I saw. So, oh, sorry, no se ve bien. No lo puedo mover. Bueno. Have you seen the new movie Fast and Furious? Yeah, that's better. Pero mm -hmm. si nos hace falta él. ¿Qué nos hace falta ahí? To make it a question, right? No. Es que... <laughs> la estaba buscando, pero no la había teacher. Es que no es mi laptop. <laughs> oh, the truth. I do not like movies. I don't, their movies. Aquí sería más fácil si lo cortamos. Y ponemos solamente, dame un segundo. I don't like. Y pongo acá. I don't like, oh, sorry. Lo puse en blanco, no se ve. Ah, let's change that. I'm going to change it to black. Let's see. I don't like their movies, sus películas, ¿verdad? 
I don't like their movies. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. That's better. Okay. Let's see, Maximiliano. Well, give them applause to the the group. They give them applause to aunque aunque no lo terminaron, but it's okay. You did a good job, Kevin, Rocío, and Roberto. Good job. Solo yo les estoy aplaudiendo. My goodness. En vida de la mal. Okay. Let's go now with Maximiliano and Marvin. Right? Yeah. Well, I did some corrections <laughs> in the progress now. Okay, Marvin, let's start. Hi, long time no see you. It was since 2020. What have you been doing? Well, I have gotten my health since 2021. That's great. Do you live in the same city? No, I don't. I have moved to Lourdes the city for the last nine months. And you, what have you been doing? I have studied English for seven months. What have you been doing in your work? Well, I have been promoted to supervisor since last, last year. And the time expired and we didn't have time to complete it. Okay, let me correct some, 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 some. Wait, no, no me muevan ahí el, que lo estoy ampliando, okay? Oh my goodness. Ahí déjenme. Okay, let's see. Veo ahorita, vamos a corregir un par de cositas. Según yo ya habían terminado porque lo estaban mandando al grupo. Ah, sí. No, pero es que para que lo vieran. Ah, lo... Eh, como no lo, no lo podía compartir desde el teléfono para que lo vea. It was since 2020. What have you been doing? Well, remember que la A siempre tiene que ser mayúscula, capital letter. Okay. Wait, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. We're going to do it with white. Sorry. Okay. Capital, ya estoy cometiendo el mismo error. <laughs> okay. We have gotten married since 2001. That's great. Do you live in the same city? No, I don't. Lo mismo acá. Uh -huh. Same mistake. <clears throat> Ahí tiene que ser mayúscula. I don't. I have lo mismo acá. Voy a ponerle encima nada más. I have moved to Lord the city for my days. I have studied English. English is with capital E. English for three mo seven months. What have you been doing in your work? Well, I have been promoted to supervisor since last year. Okay, good job. Give an applause to Maximiliano. Excellent, you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ay, también solo yo aplaudo. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, estamos. Mire, ¿quién es el que mandó ese mensaje al grupo? Ar un Araujo. Un Araujo, no sé quién es. José Araujo. José Araujo, José Araujo, José Araujo. I think he has problems for the last two classes. ¿Carlos? So, is, it, ¿Is it Carlos? No, no. It's another one. José Araujo. He was your... Um, el que tenía los periquitos de último, ¿no? I think... Okay, because I, y, y me dijo he, me dijo que yo soy él, me dijo él, gracias a él por su paciencia. <laughs> And I'm a her. Okay, excellent, you guys. We're going to do this reading, okay? It says hip hop style. Listen to me, listen to pronunciation. If you have questions, you can always ask me. Teenagers who listen to the same music often have a common look. Or one hot style in music and fashion is hip hop. Simply put, hip hop is a type of your. Simply put, hip hop is a type of urban music with a heavy beat. Typically, I mean typical, hip hop fashions are loose fitting street clothes. The style includes baggy pants, sweatshirts, hiking boots baseball caps, usually worn backward. 
jackets with sports logos and expensive athletic shoes. In the hip hop style, boys and girls often dress the same way. African American kids in Detroit and Chicago first made hip hop fashions trendy more than 20 years ago. They wore baggy street clothes to dance clubs. The North American and European bands also began wearing this style. Thanks to the popularity of music, videos, and movies, hip hop soon became an international fashion sensation. Teens around the world, from Britain to South Africa to Japan, now wear hip hop clothing 17 year old. What? Pardon. 17 year old Melanie Burrow of Manchester, England says, my pride and joy in life are my Levi's jeans. In the United States, things spent a lot of money on hip hop fashions. David Bowen, 17, of Evanston, Illinois, has five pair of hiking boots, each costing around 100. David says they're popular because a lot of hip hop performers wear them. Do you have questions or I send you the audio? Let's do it. Okay. I'm gonna send you the audio. Let me see. Hip hop style. Teenagers who listen to the same music often have a common look. One hot style in music and fashion is hip hop. Simply put, hip hop is a type of urban music with a heavy beat. Typical hip hop fashions are loose fitting street clothes. The style includes baggy pants, sweatshirts, hiking boots, baseball caps, usually worn backwards, jackets with sport logos, and expensive athletic shoes. In the hip hop style, boys and girls often dress the same way. African-American kids in Detroit and Chicago first made hip hop fashions trendy more than 20 years ago. They wore baggy street clothes to dance clubs. Then North American and European bands also began wearing this style. Thanks to the popularity of music videos and movies, hip hop soon became an international fashion sensation. Teens around the world, from Britain to South Africa to Japan, now wear hip hop clothing. 17 year old Melanie Burrow of Manchester, England says, my pride and joy in life are my Levi jeans. In the United States, teens spend a lot of money on hip hop fashions. David Bowen, 17, of Evanston, Illinois, has five pair of hiking boots, each costing around $100. David says they're popular because a lot of hip hop performers wear them. Okay, so we're gonna go and practice this reading, and then I'm gonna come back here and we're gonna practice it or we're gonna read it together. I'm gonna choose some participants to do the reading. Is the activity clear? Yes. Okay, this is for you to practice, okay? See? I know it looks a little bit blurry, but yeah, that's the best I can get. Okay, let me see. Okay, there we go.
Hello, Jose. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Welcome to the last minute. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I was working. <laughs> you were working? It's okay. Don't yeah. worry about that. Okay, so your classmates are practicing a reading, the one that I sent to the WhatsApp chat? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, 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 I I'm going to send you to, to a breaker room, okay? Okay. So you can practice with them. There you okay. go.
Maximiliano, what happened? Did you have a problem? No, no, no. It's because I have another appointment. So I I I didn't want to 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 go <laughs> and not say thanks to you. Thanks for all the things that you that you that you try to teach us. And it was a great, a great model. I think I improved my English. I improved all that I know. And it was a great time having this class with you. I was expecting this class all the days that we 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 were gonna have classes. So thanks for all. And I hope to see you in another model. Excellent. Thanks. Thank you, Maximiliano. You're a good student. Keep on practicing your English and I hope to see you in another model too. Okay, bye. Bye. See you, See you Maximiliano. Hello, Rocio. I moved you to this room because Maximiliano had to go. So you're going to work with Roberto and Tito, okay? Okay, okay. Excellent. Amazing. Thank you.
Okay, everyone, welcome back. I know that you finished reading because I went to the break rooms and no one was speaking. So yeah, so, but that means that you finished this activity. We're gonna go here with the reading. I'm gonna ask um, different participants to read different parts of this reading. Let me see. So we have Jose, Kevin, Marvin, Roberto, Rocio, and Tito. So we have six students. Okay, so yeah, okay. So the first time I'm gonna ask, let's see, the de, los, de, de las estrellas, estrellas. Let me, sorry, wait a minute. No, wait, 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 wait. Vamos a dejarlo, no, there. Okay, so from the start to the star and then the next one it's gonna be from here to heart to heart and the next one is going to be from arrow to arrow okay uh the first person it's gonna be rocio then it's gonna be marvin and then it's gonna be roberto okay rocio marvin and roberto uh, the first part, empezamos with Rocío. From start to start, Rocío. Rocío, can you hear me? My internet is uh, connecting in stable, pero yes. Okay. The angels who listen to same music often have a common look. One whole style in music and fashion is hip hop, simple pop hip hop in a type of urban music with a heavy beat. Typical hip hop fashion are lots of in street clothes. They style clothes, baggy pants, shirt, hiking boots, baseball caps, usually worn by grand jackets with sport logos and expensive athletic shoes. In the hip hop style, boys and girls often dress the same way. Repeat this word, please. Backward. Backwards. Backwards. Excellent. Good job, Rocio. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you for your participation. Let's continue, okay, with, we say Marvin, right? African American kids in Detroit and Chicago first made hip hop fashion trendy more than 20 years old. They wore bag street clothes to dance club. Techno America and European bands also began wearing this style thanks to the popularity of music, videos, and movies, hip hop soon become an international fashion sensation. Okay, thank you very much. Can you repeat these word here, please? Fashion. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Roberto now. Yes. <clears throat> Things around the world, from Britain to South Africa to Japan, now wear hip hop clothing. 17 years old Melanie Borough of Manchester, England says, my pride and joy in life are my Levi's jeans. In the United States, things spend a lot of money on hip hop fashions. David Bowen, 17, of Evanston, Illinois, has five pairs of hiking boots, each costing around $100. David says, they're popular because a lot of hip hop performers wear them. Wear them, okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Repeat this word. Wear them. Wear them. And can you repeat this one? South Africa. South Africa. South, South Africa. Africa. Yes, okay. yes, yes, South excellent. Africa. Okay, thank you very much. Let's go with the next participants. And in this case, we're gonna have Kevin first, eh, Jose Ramon second, and Tito Alvarenga third, okay? Kevin, you start. In I go to listen to the same music. 
often have common look, what one hot style in music and fashion is hip hop. Simply put, hip hop is a type of urban music with a heavy beat. Typical hip hop fashion are loose, feeling street clothes. The style including baggy pants, sweater shirt, hiking boots, baseball caps, usually wore backward, jacket with sport logos and expensive athletic shoes. In the hip hop style, boys and girls often dress the same way. Good job, Kevin. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go now with Jose, I think it is right now. Right. Okay. Every young American kids in Detroit and Chicago first made hip hop stations 20 more than 20 years ago. They wore baggy pants, clothes to dance clothes. Then North America and European bands also began wearing this style. Thanks to the popularity of music videos and movies, hip hop soon became an international fashion sensation. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent, good job. Now, Tito. Tito out. No, Tito's here. Tito just joined. Tito, you there, right? Well, I see Tito, but I think he can listen to me. Tito. Can you hear me? Oh, no, está conectando el audio. Sorry, he's connecting to his audio. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on. Vamos, come on. Vamos, vamos. Vamos, vamos. <laughs> Nunca vieron Dora la Exploradora. I never saw Dora the Explorer. Yes. Okay. Well, since Tito is, I don't know, his internet is unstable, I'm going to read it. Teams around the world from Britain to South Africa to Japan now wear hip-hop clothing. 17 years old, Melanie Burrow of Manchester, England says, My pride and joy in life are my Levi's jeans. In the United States, teens spend a lot of money on hip-hop fashions. David Bowen, 17, of Evanston, Illinois, has five pair of hiking boots, each costing around $100. David says they're popular because a lot of hip hop performers wear them. Okay. Excellent. Let's continue. So we're going to continue with the next activity. And in the, I'm sorry, what? Wait, okay. okay. So we're going to answer this question it says, read the article, find the words in italics. In the article, then match each word with its meaning. Okay, so vamos a hacer un match de las words con los meanings aquí. For example, italic, italic, italic. So no, I don't see the words in italic. Okay, these ones. Okay, so look. What do you think is look? Very light, something proud of, music and free. Look, appearance. Appearance appearance right and then urban what do you think is urban uh, i guess music rhythm it's a music rhythm uh no that is oh from, from big big cities. Cities. yes urban. Oh, yeah. yeah 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 okay that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put the letter next to the to the part okay and then the next activity says what is hip hop music? These are questions you're going to answer based on the reading. Okay, vamos a contestar esas preguntas basadas en la eh, lectura que acabamos de hacer. Okay, I'm going to send you the questions. Let me see, let me see. It looks a little bit blurry, but yeah. Okay. I want to create the rooms. And let's go.
Uh -huh. 20 años. Uh, ¿no? 20 more than 20 years ago. O sea, hace 20 años. O solo more than 20 years ago. Más de 20 años. Mm -hmm. Sí, porque si no, no va a caber todo. Did you finish the activity? Did you answer all the questions? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. So what is hip hop music? It's a type of urban music. And what are hip hop fashions? Uh, hip hop fashions are loosely fighting in three clothes. Baggy, baggy pants and baggy clothes, right? Uh, see the, uh -huh, the answer the style is included by fans. Uh -huh. Okay, and well, the other classmates also participated? What? The other classmates participated in this activity too? Yes, Robert, Robert, uh, maybe I don't know who, <laughs> but Robert is participating. Where did hip hop fashion begin? Um, we began some the twenty years ago. More than twenty years ago, right? More than twenty years ago. Yes. More than twenty years ago. Okay, excellent. Thank you, you guys. Okay. Oh my God, guys, I didn't know that it was five already. I thought we'd have more time, but it seems like we don't. So I just want to say that it was my pleasure working with you. And I hope to see you again in another module, okay? Keep on practicing English, keep on learning English, because when you stop learning English and you want to learn English again, you go back to the beginning again, okay? So and you don't want to do that. Um, I think you have a good English level. Keep on working, practicing, and studying, okay? It was my pleasure. Nice to meet you and hope to see you soon. Yes? Okay. Thank you, If teacher. I don't see you again, Merry Thank Christmas you. and Happy New Year. <laughs> the same, sure. Okay, bye. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Nice to meet you. Same for all. Excellent. Thank you. Bye.
Goodbye, Tito.